This drill or exercise is similar to the other dead zone. The difference is now you have this area here, which is zone C, which is now also an option for the players to throw to. Um, you might want to start with 3v3 and then progress to maybe 4v4, and I'm not sure about the dimensions of the field may need to change. The difference with this one is now the players can also throw into this area. However, once the disc arrives in this space here, only one pass may be completed within this space, and then it must go into the end zone. So any player receiving it in area can now either throw one pass to someone else in this area, or they can throw it straight into the end zone to someone here. Um, the difference is, is if this player, if the disc goes this way, this player now may only throw it into the end zone. There are three to five chances on offense. And if you'd like to make this more difficult, you could limit the number of passes allowed in this space here before it progresses, or you could also put a timer on it to say that within a certain time limit. Um, so you could have a time limit to say that, that a shot to the end zone for a score must happen within this certain time, or it's a case of a total of 10 passes to complete. So they could do it in two passes, but the idea is that you don't want them spending ages just throwing it around in this space here, unless you are looking for um, possession, in which case, again, that's how you can change this to support the outcome of your training.